right now at 72 with Jimmy Carter on the hey, phone. Good morning, good Jimmy. Morning. Uh, good morning. MTV Video Music Awards last night. Taylor Swift was the best dressed, won four awards, including Video of the Year. She mm. is, uh, she owns the music business right yep. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luke Bryan had a party in Nashville. They threw him one yesterday to celebrate his 30 number ones in his career. Uh, Dirks Bentley, Hillary Scott, Marty Rayburn, uh, Jason Aldean, they were all there to do it, and they gave all kinds of numbers of how many he sold and all that kind of stuff like that. And He's had a great career, I and mean, he's uh, continuing to have a great career. Mm-hmm. George Strait and Chris Stapleton going to go out some more in 2024. Indianapolis, Jacksonville. Jacksonville, not that far from you guys. That's going to be mm. uh, May the 11th of next year. It is a stadium show where the Jaguars play. Mm-hmm. And, uh, tickets for this are going to go not receive there. Tickets are going to sell Friday, September 22nd, 10 a.m. local time at georgestraight.com. October uh, 20. And don't forget, you know, there's that other show that's in Atlanta. Although Jacksonville's closer, but the one in Atlanta, that's a whole different deal. October 21. That's Chris State. Let's see, wait. It's not Chris Stapleton. It's it's uh, George Strait with Carrie Underwood, Willie Nelson, and Little Big Town. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a big show. That's a big show, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Atlanta on a Saturday night. And then, of course, George is continuing to work all over the place. All right. This guy, that, I don't even know what to call him because no one knows Oliver Anthony, he's mm-hmm. a red man north of Richmond dude with the beard. Yes. And, you know, it's a damn show. <laughs> you know, that guy. Yeah. All right. They hired him for the Cotton Eye Joe Club in Knoxville. Uh-huh. His friend negotiated the deal. $120,000 for 60 minutes of work. Wow. Wow. Pretty that's, good. That's pretty good price for a newbie like that. Dang. So he found out about what he was supposed to do and pitched to fit. He said, my ticket should never go more than uh, $40 and really ought to be 25. Hmm. And he did not like the fact that fans were getting charged. Yeah. It was also a meet and greet opportunity for one ninety nine associated with the show. And he didn't wow. like that either. And he said, I, I let a friend uh, delegated this to somebody to do. And I didn't know about it. And my plate is full and I'm not pointing fingers at cotton eye Joe, but I, I came not going to do my fans that way. So he cussed and moaned and <laughs> finally this the whole club just walked away from it hmm. saying that, you know, he's been canceled oh. and, um, and he warned other agents not to book Oliver Anthony. Wow. Well, the, I mean, the place was charging $99. Yeah. There are only 1500 spaces. Sure. Mm-hmm. So they mm-hmm. were going to break even. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They did it just for kind of as a fun thing to do. You know, publicity makes some news break mm-hmm. even. Well, maybe he'll write a song about it. He's a, yeah, he's an <laughs> odd dude. Yeah. Very odd dude. Okay. Uh, he plays Nashville Sunday afternoon, but he plays there for an audience that's going to get free. Mm-hmm. So that's just not, he thinks every place is a free deal. Mm-hmm. Very confusing. Yeah. All right, Kane Brown, he's got a number one a song with Bury Me in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Well, you ain't got to take him too far across the line over there, across the river. Mm-hmm. If you want to bury him in Georgia, uh, <laughs> Miranda Lambert, she'd been in a Walmart store to look at her stuff. Wanda June home, home decor line from Walmart. And she told us again that her grandpa was a greeter at Walmart back in the day. Hmm. Carrie Underwood said that she's just, uh, you know, thrilled to hear from other football players that say her opening energizes her. <laughs> energizes everybody. Energize yeah. me in the new metallic <laughs> body suit. I felt energized. Didn't you, Donald? Uh, <laughs> you? Uh, Steven Tyler, he can't sing for a month. Vocal cord damage, so they've had to, you know, put some of their shows on hold. Been a whole lot of that lately. You know, with Bruce Springsteen and Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. falling apart. Yep. Yep. That Aaron Rodgers thing, that's just really weird. Yeah, that was I hate that strange. I mean, you yep. know, he may not be a fan or but you are a fan, but it's just you hate to see that. The New York yeah. Jets fans really think they're Yeah, I would say so. Four yeah. plays into the season and you're and it's over. I mean, yeah. yeah oh yeah. You know, yeah. That they really had a you know, probably a pretty good chance of being able to do still yeah. won the game. But we'll see how that I also goes. read Colin Kaepernick's uh, agent has Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like a bad nickel. Yeah. You know, he's to say, hey, I got, I got, 
Hire me, hire me. Yeah, yeah right. Well, Tom Brady's already told him no, <laughs> from my understanding. <laughs> well, I just hope that uh, Coach Saban has had those young men working hard this week. Uh huh. Well, he was wondering if Derrick Henry had another year of eligibility after Saturday. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, maybe they'll bring Aaron Rodgers to the cast. There you go. <laughs> An AI Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Jimmy. Thank you. All See right. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.